Live local news starts right now. This is BG24 News, live at The Public Affairs Show is really cool because it has a bit of a pop culture theme to it. Um, it's We do a great discussion segment where we talk about current events and we dabble a little in politics and our interviews are a lot of fun and I think it's just such a rich show. And hosting the show is fun too. Um, we have to pick our interviews ourselves so we email Isabella any ideas that we might have. And just looking around locally keeps you aware of what's happening in Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. Finding and, events that interest you. Right. And it's awesome to, you know, really be more aware of where you're living in college. I mean, I feel like so many kids just don't know what's going on, you know? I didn't. Yeah. Until I got on the show. Every week we have a reporter meeting and we discuss what we're all going to cover for the week. And um, if it gets approved, we go and we find a couple interviews. Usually we want to find a main interview that we're going to basically feature in our package. Usually then we would go out with a videographer and they would shoot the package for us. We can obviously tell them our input and what we would like to see in our package, but primarily they would go, they would find nice shots. So it's awesome to get to go out with them and, you know, kind of see what their side of the field looks like. After that is complete, we will come in the newsroom, we will edit our packages, and that takes a significant amount of time, but it's all worth it in the end. Anchoring and reporting are so different. Anchoring, I just basically come in and I would read the script and make sure that I know what I'm doing, make sure that I know the pronunciations of all the different names, and basically just read off the teleprompter and make good ad libs with other anchors and other guests we have on the show. So it's definitely a very different approach, but um, both have taught me a lot. BG24 is more than just the talent on screen. There's plenty of people behind the screens that make the show possible. There's the camera operators, namely. That's what I do. I'd say that's pretty important. In the control room, there are six main jobs, um, ranging everywhere from the director of the show to the audio of the show, as well as all of the video and graphics that go through the whole show. Everything that is produced in the show has to come through the control room. It's like kind of where the magic happens. We have around 11 positions that we need to fill for all of our live productions. And my job is to train and get the students that aren't so comfortable with those positions to become comfortable with them. So then, you know, later on down the road that they could end up teaching somebody else how to do it.
And together we make one great team. One, one great team. team. Join, Join today. today.